Hey everyone, welcome to Science Shots. And today we're talking about a really, really exciting topic known as the cell theory. So the cool thing why cells are called cells in the first place is because when scientists first discovered them, they noticed that the was made of all these small little boxes, like prison, like a lot of my friends are in. Isn't that cool? And there's three main components of the cell theory. Okay, so cells are these really, really tiny things that make up all living things from humans, drag queens, and plant and fungi. You know why the fungus, the morale mushroom, was invited to the party? He was a fungi. Hi, Protus, which is the garbage bin of kingdom of animal, well, not animals, but living things, and bacteria. Cells. Okay, so the cell theory is talking about cells. Cells make up everything living. Living. They don't make up tables, they don't make up chairs, they don't make up rocks, because those are all things that are dead or non-living. The first one is that all cells come from every other cell. They get big, they get chunky, kind of like me at a buffet. You split in half and make a new baby cell. And the one that was pre-existing was known as the mama cell. She's a hootie nanny. Yeah. And the new one's called the baby daughter cell. It's kind of like drag history. You got mama, you got daughter, and you got these wonderful lineages that never make sense. I'll be going through mitosis, which they create equal amounts of DNA for each cell, so they're exactly the same. Binary fission, which a lot of simpler cells, like prokaryotic. <laughs> And whatever DNA goes in one goes in one and whatever one stays in the mother stays in the mother. So yeah, so all cells come from other cells. And of course you're gonna have those one people that are like, well what about the first cell of the world? Well you know what, this is science. Known as the endosymbiotic theory, where you had one cell and then it ate another cell. They kind of started working together, thus the symbiosis part. They basically kind of started becoming that eukaryotic cell, which we see in today's world. I'm still on Earth. Okay, so the second thing is that cells make up a living life. Any type of plant has a cell, any type of animal, from sponges to jellies, to uh, bears, ooh, bears. And the third and last one, cells are the basic unit of all living things. So what that means, organ systems are made of organs, and then organs are made up of different types of tissue, from your epithelial, to your nervous, to your muscular, and then when you go further and further down, you get into cells. Cells are awesome, each cells are crazy, they're little and tiny. The atoms and molecules that make up that stuff, those aren't considered living because atoms and molecules are not living because they make up this computer, table, wall, carpet, and everything in between, except my toes. So cells are the most basic or smallest unit that we still deem as living. So yeah, everything is so wonderful at the basic level. Cells are basic. Of you know, we can't be talking about parts of the cell that's for another episode. Thank you so much for joining me here with Science Shots. I hope you enjoyed this video and hope you learned at least something because let me tell you, I've been rambling like an idiot here all evening. Please make sure to subscribe, make sure to share the love and the stupid. I'll see you next time. I've been your weirdo. Behind the screen, a lot of shot cells are really cool, but a